Hi everybody, I hope that you guys have had a beautiful morning or day so far. Today we're going to be doing a really cute craft activity. We're first going to have to make our salt dough and then we're going to press some leaves that you guys find in your garden into that salt dough. But before we get started, please remember you have to wash your hands, sing twinkle twinkle little star and then dry them off properly. Um, this is so that the dough doesn't get gooey and sticky and yuck. So I'm going to show you what you need to get and then you can pause me, go find what you need and then come back and watch the rest of the video. Right. Okay. So what you need is you need to go hunt in your garden for some autumn leaves. Whatever leaves you find, it's up to you. Um, <clears throat> then you need a bowl of water. This bowl of water for the moms and dads is just so that the children are able to measure out the water properly and more efficiently and independently. You need some flour, you need some salt, you need a bowl to mix in, and you need two measuring cups. You need a one cup measuring cup and a half a cup measuring cup before we get started. All right, so pause me, go find what you need and I'll see you now. Right, you guys ready to get started? So the first thing we're gonna do is we need one cup of flour. Okay. Oops, there's our one cup of flour. Put it in the bowl. Okay, and then we need a half a cup of salt. So I've made a little hole in the bag of salt just so it's easier to pour uh, independently. And you're going to just pour slowly and carefully. There we go. There is our cup, half a cup of salt. I'm going to pour that in the bowl. Then, with our water, you're going to take a half a cup of water. There we go. You're going to pour it in very, very carefully. Now comes the messy bit. You're going to mix this mixture with your hands until it's like a Play-Doh. But it's not as, it won't be as um, soft as Play-Doh. It'll be a little bit harder because this is a salt dough. And you just keep mixing. If your mixture is too soft, you can add more flour. If your mixture is too runny, I mean too dry, you can add a little bit more water. But rather do like a tiny bit of water at a time so that it doesn't get too soft. Now you're going to have to use your muscles to get in there. And for safety, it's safer to hold the bowl with one hand. Um, and so it doesn't fall off the table or the counter. So you hold with one and you mix with one. All right, now that the dough is pretty much all mixed in. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put my dirty bowl in a sink of hot water to soak while I do the rest with you guys. And look, you can see how messy our hands are going to get. So they were clean, but now they're not so clean, are they? Now you're just going to mix your dough up a little bit more on a, a, a chopping board or on your kitchen counter, whatever you guys can find. And then once your dough is mixed, you're gonna, I've got two leaves, so I'm gonna break my dough into two balls. But if you've got three or four leaves, then you can break it up into three or four balls. And then I'm gonna roll it nicely. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll. One ball. Roll, roll, roll. And two balls. Okay. Now, now we're gonna have some fun. If you have a rolling pin, you can roll it out. I don't have a rolling pin, so I'm just gonna use my 
hand, the soft bit, the palm of my hand, and I'm just going to push it flat. And I'm just going to lift it up off the board and turn it over so that I know that it's not getting stuck to the board. Okay, let's see which one. Let's do this little fluffy one, shall we? Okay, you're going to place your leaf on your dough and you're going to push down hard but not rough. So you're still going to be gentle, but you're going to just push down hard so that the leaves get into the dough. And you're going to make sure that all the leaves are pushed down. Alright, now let's have a look and see what they look like. So you gently pull the leaf off. Sometimes the leaf will stay in the dough, but that's okay, because that makes it unique and special. Alright, I'm going to show you what mine looks like. There we go, so you can see all the little fluffy tiny leaves. I'm going to move that to one side, I'm going to try my other leaf. You use your whole body if you want to, and you push, push, push. If you need some help from your mummies and daddies, you may need to say please and thank yous. You're gonna push. Go. Alright, now I've got this big crunchy one. Can you hear? It's not it's not a fresh leaf, it's a bit it's half dried. So then you're gonna push down again. And remember you can use gentle hands but strong hands. reveal your leaf imprint. I'm going to try to show you this one. This one's not as good as the first one just because it's a different type of leaf but you can still see the margin and the main veins. There and there we have our salt dough leaf imprint. Now with this you need to leave it somewhere dry and sunny for two days before it gets hard. So you can choose wherever. I'm going to leave mine on the windowsill in my kitchen because it's nice and sunny there and I know that it's not going to get wet. And once it's dry, if you want to, you can paint it. You can put glue on it. You can put glitter. You can even take the leaf and then break the leaf up into tiny little pieces to decorate it with. Or you can just leave it plain. Now, we've made quite a bit of mess. So it's important that now that you've made a mess is you have to tidy everything up. That means you have to help mummies and daddies wash the bowls. You've got to wash your measuring cups. I'm going to put them in the sink right now. There you go. And when you're finished tidying up, remember, you've got to wash your little hands and you've got to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I hope you guys have enjoyed this craft activity and I look forward to doing another one with you. Please send me photos of all the leaf imprints that you guys do at home. I'd love to see all the different leaves that everyone has in their own gardens. Have a good day, guys. Bye.